Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, I guess why the opportunity to play in the Big Bash, what was appealing to you? I think everything about it, obviously. Um, it's a massive competition, I think, obviously the crowds. Um, so yeah, when I got asked, I obviously was going to say yes and I'm really looking forward to it. Did you kind of teach yourself that the way your career is accelerating over the last little while? Yeah, it's been quite scary how quickly it's um, changed really. I think this time last year I was in Perth playing um, grade cricket and I averaged about nine. Um, so yeah, being here is obviously a dream come true, so yeah, very lucky. How are you acclimatising so far? Yeah, I think we spoke about it. Um, no, it's been tricky the last few days. Um, my girlfriend's come over, over with me, um, so she's still in bed. So yeah, at the moment, I'm pretty tired at the moment, but yeah, just getting through it. And who are you looking forward to? I mean, there's some great players in this team, but is there anyone in particular you're looking forward to, to playing alongside? Um, Renners, um, he was over at Somerset with us a few years ago. Um, so it was obviously knowing that he's over is obviously quite nice um, and then obviously Maxi Bryant as well I played against him in the 19s World Cup and there's a few words exchanged there which is quite funny but yeah I saw him yesterday so it would be good to catch up with him again. Did you have much to do with Lenny in the UK? Um, I saw him a few nights um, we played against him luckily he didn't get any runs against us which was um, which was nice but yeah obviously great player nice guy as well so yeah I'm really looking forward to batting with him as well. Um, we'll wait and see. Obviously, it's quite hard to replace McCullum, um, but yeah, you never know. We'll wait and see. What do you have to sort of bring to this team? I think just obviously as an opener to kind of get us off to quick start. Um, obviously, still being young, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. Um, and yeah, just see how it goes game by game, and then yeah, hopefully get a few scores and then see what happens. So they told me you made your debut for England recently in New Zealand. How was that experience? How did that sort of give you? where you are, where you expect to be sort of thing? Um, oh yeah, obviously as a kid growing up playing in the garden that's I think what everyone dreams of doing um, and luckily I got the chance out in New Zealand. I didn't know whether I was going to play or not. I played the third T20 um, and yeah, it was very special, obviously quite nervous um, but yeah, when I started batting it kind of all felt quite natural to me. Um, I think, yeah, definitely the first few games. Um, I think for everyone there'll be nerves there, um, but hopefully get a score away early and then, yeah, I won't think about it too much. As a young player now, how, how important has it become, T20, this format of the game, um, to look you know, at your future in the game, considering the amount of money you can make just from playing T20? Yeah, obviously there's a lot of money um, all over the world and all these different competitions, but I think for me at the moment it's just about enjoying it. Um, and putting runs on the board and then those chances will come. Um, obviously your health is very important as well, so I do want to look after myself and not play too much cricket. Um, obviously go back um, after this one, then there's a PSL, IPL possible. Um, and then the English season as well, playing for Somerset, so yeah, I do want to keep myself fresh. Is it is test cricket though what you, where you want to end up? Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously just this year, white ball cricket's probably gone better for me. Um, I did alright in Red Bull, but yeah, for for me, I think at the moment it's just focus on white ball and hopefully an opportunity in Red Bull will come up. Do the young guys though, look at it and say, well, you know, I, I can just have a, a career just just playing T20 cricket? Chris Lynn's done that. Right? Uh, I think so, but for me, definitely, I still want to um, play Red Bull cricket as well. Um, like I said, I just think white ball cricket this year went better for me, but hopefully, I might get a chance um, playing Red Bull cricket for England. I've just got to perform for Somerset first. You mentioned the pressure earlier. Are you the kind of player that embraces that, or does it kind of get to you a little bit? Uh, for me, I don't think about it too much. Um, I don't know, you might have read, I either go out there and I'll be out first ball or it might come off. Um, I won't put too much pressure on myself. I just think the way I play, it will. some guys will look at me and think, I'm not sure you should have done that. But for me, I'm just going to carry on doing what I've done. So. The, the, the chance to work with Darren Lehman, is that something that's going to be potentially beneficial for you going forward, Drake? Yeah, no, definitely. I met him. He was at the 100 um, draft a few weeks ago, months ago maybe. Um, I saw him at in London, so it's good to catch up then. But yeah, I haven't hit a ball since I've been here. Um, but I'm starting training tomorrow, so yeah, it'll be good. Got it, and you've got a maybe some cricket play under your belt this weekend, maybe some Premier cricket. Yeah, um, I'm, I think they're called Woundalum or something. I'm not sure. Widham, Widham or something. Um, so yeah, playing for them on Sunday, definitely, and then Saturday afternoon, maybe. How do you reckon you go under the uh, Brizzy Heat? Um, <laughs> Yeah, obviously it's hot here, so I need to acclimatise quite quickly, um, get in the sun and get a bit of brown on me. Um, but yeah, I don't mind the heat, to be honest. So. They're looking forward to playing alongside the Villiers as well, I mean, just such a uh, icon of the game. 
Well, no, unfortunately, I'm not playing alongside him. He's come in, he's replacing me. Um, well, yeah, I know that probably sounds a bit weird, but yeah, he's coming when I leave, um, which is a bit annoying. But um, there's an England Lions tour on here after this tournament, so if I'm selected for that, hopefully I can grab a net session with him. What about it as the big grass as a whole? Were there people you're looking forward to coming up against in the um, Well, I was in Perth last year, so obviously um, I played with a few of the Scorchers boys, um, Hilton Cartwright, I think he's moved now, um, Josh Philippi um, is at the Sixers, so yeah, it'll be good to catch up with a few of those guys when we do play against them. What's the aggressive approach you were saying before about going out to your best work? Has that been um, I haven't thought about it. I think just the way T20 cricket is now, I think as an opener you kind of, you see a few balls and then you kind of got to go for it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll see the ball and play it on its merit and then sometimes it won't come off. So. Are you just generally a pretty mellow person? <laughs> yeah, pretty relaxed, pretty chilled, um, just as it comes, yeah. You mentioned you've got your family coming out, your brother's going to play in the cricket as well, younger brother's playing play in Sydney, so it's going to be a, a great, quite a good summer for you guys, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they're actually on the plane at the moment. They've been sending me photos. Um, unfortunately, they're staying in the same apartment as us, um, which is a bit annoying. I can't get away from them. But yeah, my brother's playing in Sydney, grade cricket for Western Suburbs. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that goes well for him because he's with Worcester at the moment. So yeah, I think it's a big year for him coming up. What's the idea? What's the situation with you coming up? Are you on the... Yeah, the auction's in on 19th of December. Um, so yeah, we'll wait and see what happens, but yeah, fingers crossed something does come from that. But obviously, as you say, this is you know, yeah. a pretty good month or a pretty good couple of weeks to, yeah? Yeah, well hopefully, there's one game before the auction, um, so yeah, hopefully get some <laughs> runs that game and then, yeah, put me in good stead, but we'll wait and see. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks uh, History, do you know when the last time the Brisbane Heat won the title? Oh, very good. Oh, you put me on the spot, I actually don't know, to be honest, sorry. Big BLA too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.